right, so I'm calling to order the joint meeting of the Arlington Housing Authority and Arlington Select Board for November 30th, 2020. As a preliminary matter, this is John Hurd, the Select Board Chair, permit me to confirm that all members and persons anticipated on the agenda are present and can hear me. Members of the Select Board, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Diane Mahan? Yes, thank you. Joseph Carroll? Yes. Steve DeCourcy? Yes. Len Diggins? Yes. And staff, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Adam Chapdelaine, Tom Manager? Yes. Doug Heim, Tom Consul? Yes. And Board Administrator Ashley Meyer is participating remotely. I'll invite Nick Metropolis, the Chair of the Housing Authority, to confirm that all of his members and staff are present and can hear him. Thanks, John. <clears throat> Ryan Connor? Yes. Bachelanian? <clears throat> yes. yes. Joanne Preston? Yes. Great. That's everybody, John. <clears throat> all right. Good evening. This meeting of the open. Uh, Sorry. And John Griffin. Okay. Thanks, John. Uh, is do you have John Greco on there, our attorney? Danny, do you see John Greco? John Greco. Just been. Um, I'll look. I don't think so. I don't see him. Yes, I do. All right, you can promote him to panelists as well. All right, I'll roll through this script and then we can open this up. Good evening. This meeting of the Arlington Select Board in Arlington. Housing Authority is being conducted remotely consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12, 2020 due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth given the outbreak of the novel coronavirus. In order to mitigate the transmission of the virus and reduce risk of COVID-19 illness, we have been advised and directed by the Commonwealth to suspend public gatherings and as such, the governor's order suspends the requirement of the open meeting law to have all meetings in a publicly accessible physical location. Further, all members of public bodies are allowed and encouraged to participate remotely. The order which you can find posted with the agenda materials for this meeting allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely so long as reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. Ensuring public access does not ensure public participation unless such participation is required by law. This meeting will, will not feature public comment if, if other members of the public do not provide comment, participants are advised that people may be listening who do not provide comment and those persons are not required to identify themselves. For this meeting, the select board in Arlington Housing Authority is convening by Zoom as posted on the town's website, identifying how the public may join. Please note this meeting is being recorded that some attendees are participating by video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that other folks may be able to see you and then take care not to screen share your computer. Anything you broadcast may be captured by the recording. Please also take care to adjust your screen or device name if you would like to speak in order for us to recognize speakers appropriately and develop accurate minutes. It is helpful for participants to see your full first and last name when calling upon you rather than a nickname. All the materials for this meeting, except any executive session materials are available on the Novus agenda dashboard. And we recommend members and public follow along the agenda as posted on Novus, unless the chair notes otherwise. We're turning to the first agenda for, before we do so. Permit me to cover some ground rules for effective and clear conduct of our business and to ensure accurate meeting minutes. I will introduce each speaker on the agenda. After they conclude their remarks, the chair will go down the line of members and be inviting each by name to provide any comments, questions, or motions. Please hold until your name is called. Further, please remember to mute your phone or computer when you are not speaking. Please remember to speak clearly in a way that helps generate accurate minutes. For any response, please wait until the chair yields the floor to you and state your name before speaking. If members wish to engage in colloquy with other members, please do so through the chair, taking care to identify yourself. Each vote tonight will be taken by roll call votes. And Mr. Chair, Anything that you want to add to the remote script? Oh, I'm good, Joe. Thanks. All right. So the first order of business to open up our joint meeting of the select board and the housing authority is to, amongst the chairs, take a nomination for one chair to act as the chair for this meeting, if we have any nominations. 
I nominate you, John. Oh, sorry, Joe. Oh, go, go ahead, Dan. Yeah, I just nominate John Hurd as taking the chair for the meeting. So I'm okay with that. Great. Second. All right. We have nomination by Chairman Metropolis, second by Mr. Crow, Attorney Heim. Um, I'll just try to go through um, each board one at a time. And I apologize in advance if I don't have uh, members of the housing authorities. I usually do it in order of seniority and then the chair and the vice chair. So I apologize if I get any of this wrong, um, but I'll uh, start with Mr. Connor. Brian. Yes. Ms. Preston. I'm sorry. Um, would you repeat that? I'm asking for your roll call vote on the nominee. Oh, roll call vote. Yes, I'm here. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, Mr. I'm sorry, it's Talanian? Yes. And yes, I vote yes. Okay. And Mr. Metropolis. Yes. Members of, the, members of the select board. Um, Mr. I'm sorry, Mrs. Mahan. Yes, thank you. Mr. DeCourcy. Yes. Mr. Diggins. Yes. Mr. Curo. Yes. Mr. Hurd. Yes. It's a unanimous vote. And so, Mr. Griffin, do you, are you aware has power been restored at QTAC building yet? So, John, you just got to unmute yourself. Uh, John, it has not been uh, restored yet. Okay. I, I think the whole block is, uh, is out over there. All right. Uh, so, Attorney Hine, do you have any recommendations or suggestions, just given that two of the applicants are at the QSAC building? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, this matter is within the joint board's discretion. The board would like to proceed uh, with nominations, discussion, and vote. I think the board should do so, but it would be uh, uh, more than, it wouldn't necessarily be unlawful, but it would seem in the interest of fairness to not afford uh, any of the candidates who can be present because they have power, uh, the ability to sort of present their case. So uh, my recommendation is that if the board wishes to proceed, you proceed with nominations and discussion without hearing from the nominees themselves. If the board wishes to postpone, the board may also do that in its discretion. All right, Mr. Metropolis. I recommend we postpone, John, just in the fairness for, 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 for everybody. I, I second it. So we have a motion to postpone from Mr. Metropolis, second by Mrs. Preston. By a show of hands, does anyone want to comment, add anything before we vote? Okay, Attorney Hine. Uh, Mr. Chair, may I recommend, do we, uh, is it your intention to postpone and then um, close this meeting and call uh, and arrange another date offline? Um, yeah, that probably, I think at this point we'd like to do it as soon as we can just because we've been sitting out there for a while, but that's fine. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay. Um, oh. I'll, Wait, could I have one thing? Yep. Mr. Chair, um, when um, the two respective chairs are discussing this meeting, if it's not a town meeting night, is there any way we could start at seven versus six just for my family considerations? But if it's a, you know, if we can get it from six to seven or something else. So I'm not saying you can say yes or no to that. If you, I'd just like to place that for consideration. Yeah, that's right. The only reason we chose six o'clock is because of town meeting. So that would make more sense. Certainly would make things easier in my head. So. Question, okay. John? Yes, it's Connor. Is, uh, is it possible for these two people to dial in on their telephones and connect with us? I mean, it, it, whether or not you can connect with them, I don't know. No, I, I mean, I, I thought we could, you could also dial in. Oh, you can. Yeah, if they have a phone and they're able to do it, it's whether or not somebody can get in touch with them and explain how to do that. Joanne? 
Um, the problem is they've spent a lot of time writing out notes that, I mean, they have no lights at all. <laughs> um, I mean, they use their phone battery lights to get around. And I just think that would be, okay. put them at a real disadvantage. <laughs> and I know they've worked very hard on it. And uh, it would be a shame that they couldn't participate. I mean, if they were on their phone, they couldn't see their yeah, notes. I agree, I agree. I agree. John? Yes. I'll, I'll, work, I'll work real close with John tomorrow just to reschedule as soon as possible, okay? And we'll take into consideration the seven o'clock time frame and see if we can get it done this week. We'll, we'll have to post it for what, 72 hours? Mr. time, is that correct? Or what has to happen? Yeah, Thursday or Friday. Okay, yeah, okay. Likely Thursday. Yeah. Okay, so I'll work with you tomorrow, John, to just try to get a date going. Okay. All right. If uh, folks are ready for a roll call, I'll, I'll take the roll call on the motion to postpone. Yes. Yep. Mr. Connor. Yes. Ms. Preston. Yes. Mr. Talanian. Yes. Mr. Metropolis. Yes. Mrs. Mahan. Yes, thank you. Mr. DeCourcy. Yes. Mr. Diggins. Yes. Mr. Kuro. Yes. Mr. Hurd. Yes. It's unanimous vote. Thank you. So now we just need a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. My favorite. Second. <laughs> I'll be faster this time. Sorry. Mr. Connor. <laughs> yes. Ms. Preston. Yes. Mr. Tulanian. Garmuka. Yes. Thank you, sir. Mr. Metropolis. Yes. Mrs. Mahan. Yes, thank you. Mr. DeCourcy. Yes. Mr. Diggins. Yes. Mr. Kuro. Yes. Mr. Hurd. Yes. It's a unanimous vote. Thank you.